move on to item number we move on to item number five, uh, which is a minute to the last weekend. There are a couple of items which I'd like to raise for clarification. Uh, please note that in the list of declarations in the minutes of the meeting held on the 16th of December 2014, Councillor Cork did in fact declare an interest on as a school governor and not as a private landlord. Um, and that list has been corrected in the published minutes. Uh, we also have an amendment in regards to item 11.4, the voting of, um, and the recording of the, um, the recording of the division. Uh, Councillor Lang Langer then was in fact out of the room for the initial show of hands vote and therefore should not have been recorded as um, um, voting in the division. Uh, therefore his, um, that would change Councillor Langerbend's tick will go into absent and the voting on that item will change to uh, 4, 32 against 30, absent 1, the total remaining 63. Um, apart from those amendments, uh, does everybody agree the accuracy of the minutes of the meeting held on the 16th of December? Mr. Mayor, what was that? Yeah. on page 6 of the minutes. Um, 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 yes. There was a division. Council needs to abstain. But for the total, it says 431 against 31. Absent 1. That should say abstain. You're quite correct. We'll make that amendment. Abstain 1, absent 0. We move on to item 11.2. I call upon Councillor Rudin Thompson to move attention and adoption of item 11.2 on the agenda. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move this item to <coughs> This area is a meaningful service for education and skills within our local authority. It's been a long pathway through our committee to look at the various different options that are available. The uh, ancillary services to schools are very important whilst they don't directly impact on teaching and learning. They are clearly an important part of the services we provide outside the DSG and thus must be looked at in that context. Could we have your conversation during the break? Certainly, but the, the purpose of this is to listen to the speaker and then to respond. Councillor Thompson, can you carry on? Mr. Mayor, I move the motion be put. Seconded.
you did at the last, last council meeting. Why have you delayed this time round, Mr Mayor? We're not paying for any time in this council chamber. Should have happened immediately, not when you choose. I think Councillor Salinger should be exempt. That's 31, Mr. Mayor. And David. Can we see the name? Can we see the name? This is incompetent. One can find a friend if you want to let the definition of the word immediately. The motion that the votes are now put. All in favour of the recommendations in the report, please show. With no amendments. With no amendments. Please show clearly your voting for the report. Can I take the bar? The amendment can be moved, even if the question is there being put or not. That's 31, Mr. All against?
Councillor Rutter, Councillor Ride, Councillor Salinger, Councillor Sargent, Councillor Scannell, Councillor Schneiderman, Councillor Seal, Councillor Ride, Councillor Slocum, Councillor Salvi, Councillor Stock, Councillor Thomas, Councillor Tom Councillor Tierney, Councillor Trevathan, Councillor Williams, Councillor Zinkin, Councillor Zubayra. Mr. Mayor, members might like to recall that the Education Committee, it was uh, Councillor Hutton who referred this here, so that it could have a full debate. Yeah. Yeah. So, so much, so much to you. Barnet Mayor. The, uh, the result of the vote, Mr Mayor, is 31 votes for, 1 against, uh, and 13 not against. Thank you very much indeed. Before we move on to item 12.1, I may disappoint that the Labour group have indeed left. We're disappointed by your coming over to the Mayor. Unconstitutional doing whatever you want, to get a vote whenever you want, and not when it's called. I am very disappointed that the Labour group have indeed left the room, though I do see Councillor McGurk's return. Mm -hmm. Um, the purpose of the council meeting is to have discussion and exchange of ideas. When there's only one. Well, that, bear in mind that's never happened in Barnet since 2002. So we, now we now move on to item 12.1 of the agenda. I'll do it whichever order you want. It's always the way. <laughs> <laughs> move on to item 12.1. Are there recommendations sent out in the report agreed? We now move on to item 12.2, the report from the Head of Governance. Now, as I would hope that the Head of Governance will be involved in this, I would like to give you time to take a place in the Mr. Mayor, can you special them when we follow the rules of the Constitution from now on? <laughs> we do need Barnett's constitution, not any other constitution you come up with. We can supply you by instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Item 12.2, report from the Head of Governance. Uh, thank you, Mr Mayor. The, uh, the report um, sets out two issues. Firstly, the proposed changes to the calendar of meetings. Uh, and then also uh, in Appendix B, uh, provided schedule of vacancies <coughs> and proposed nominations to those vacancies to school governing bodies. Uh, are there any changes? Uh, what was that? <laughs> yeah. Are there any changes in the calendar of meetings that set out in Appendix A noted? Do we have to fit it to Councillor Seal's timetable? School governor appointments. The Conservative 